Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Minnesota St. Drew Band with your champions, 100A, 11101B, and an incredible playoffs. And I hope you watched the entire playoffs because, wow, this was absolutely wild. Here with Kevin and Anish, and we're going to break down a little bit more about this here for you. I got to ask you, starting out, man, looking at uh, high stakes games so far, you guys obviously really well seeding. How are you looking coming in for qualification rounds in the playoffs? Like, what kind of change for you strategy wise? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so we looked at strategy. We realized that most matches that we won were when both teams had both cor both positive corners. And the only way to counteract that is if you score on high stakes. So we were either looking for a really fast bot that could score on the positive corner with us, or if uh, a team that could fill up quickly and score high stakes. We knew them. They obviously are very well known, uh, very well drivers, and their autons are also very good. We noticed that um, most uh, matches that were won were from their auto. So we wanted to win auto first and then get both positive goals as well. And we knew that was a perfect team for it. And following up, uh, it was an incredible season last year. You were world, world finalists at Vex Rolls as well, too, coming in here. Uh, I mean, this playoff ride was just intense the entire way. Talk to me a little about your journey from the uh, round of 16 into finals one. Just kind of what was that ride like for you? Yeah, so round of 16 all the way to finals one, we actually were able to execute almost the same exact strategy. And that was basically where we take these two mobile goals and try to rush for the positive zones, right? We're trying to maximize the amount of points that we have. So um, basically, we kind of started with that strategy in round of 16. We were able to refine it, you know, refine things like dropping the goal up off. We were able to discuss with our wonderful partners on 100A on how we can drop the goal off efficiently and, you know, create the most efficient, you know, way of scoring those points. And once the goal was dropped off, we basically had two sets of teams. Or, yeah, two sets of teams. One of them is an, an aggressor, one of them is an aggressor, and one of them is a defender. So the defender is someone who basically takes care of those two mobile goals. Uh, similar to the rowers and spin-up, they're basically create, kind of creating this diagonal movement. And then the aggressor is someone who kind of goes into the other team, tries to, you know, um, unleash their mistakes and take advantage of that to try to get the negative zones. So we were able to get, we were able to get negative zones and positive zones at the end of the day, and that actually turned out pretty well. I got to ask you about finals two. We started out in an autonomous tie. You know, in finals one, you lost auto, but we were able to make it uh, back all the way. Talk to me about kind of the match strategy. The, from finals one to finals two, did anything really change at all for your alliance? Yeah, so nothing really changed in the beginning of the strategy. We knew that since it was a tie, not, neither of our teams were ahead. But we were we were going to go straight for the positive corner. They were going to go straight for our positive corner. We did not get ours, but they still got theirs. So at that point, they actually had three MOGOs, and we had two, and we were down. So we knew we had to steal a MOGO and either fill it up with our color or steal a MOGO at the end and put it in the negative. And we actually ended up filling two blues up, which is our color, two of them up, having one in the positive, one just neutral, and then we stole one of theirs and put it in the negative at the end, and that's what offset it. Well, congratulations. Uh, of course, the first Big Cincher event of the year. You guys are both champions. Can't wait to see what you do for the rest of the season as well, too. So congratulations. Live it up, and we'll see you at your next Cincher event. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.